Hi friends. Right, so let's talk about how science can be fun in school. There's this quote from Neil deGrasse Tyson which goes, A scientist is a child who never grows up. I feel science is meant to be fun. Like, I feel children are the best scientists because we are always like, curious and we're always like inquisitive and stuff like that. And I feel science in school is just taught very seriously. Like the textbooks are like just so serious and how the teacher teach are just so serious. But like science is all meant to be fun. Science revolves around us. It's all about being curious about everything. You see something drop, that is physics. If you see rust on a bicycle, that is chemistry. Science is all meant to be realizing like the beauty of the world. Now I feel textbooks are just too serious in schools. Now I'm going to say a small sentence in an AP biology textbook. It goes like this. A phospholipid consists of a pair of fatty acids that may or may not have carbon double bonds fused at the carboxylic acid with a 3 carbon glycerol that is terminated by a phosphate. It's all just so serious in textbook like I feel this is also why like students who have a tough time in learning science. We can't just say all these big words and expect like a child to like understand this. And I feel with all of these big words in a textbook, that is why like students tend to like memorize in exams because I feel when we don't fully understand a specific topic, we tend to memorize it or if we also don't have the passion for that topic, we'll also memorize it. And like with all of these big words, there's no stories in textbooks to make it easy to understand. And that is why like I feel students are just having a tough time like loving the subject because it's too complicated. So I feel textbooks are just too hard to grasp. And I feel in a lot of presentations and stuff, like our teachers will always say show but not tell. And essentially like it's always easier for us to learn if you can visualize it than like just hearing it. And I feel in science, how it's being taught is mainly by us just listening to all the facts but instead we should be visualizing it with like objects which, which can be used to make it easier to understand and into a story so it'll be easier to understand and it will also be more fun like i feel chemistry is such a beautiful topic because like there's slime and there's color change and there are reactions and explosions going on and physics has magnets where it can attract some other metals and you can try and shake it off but it actually won't come off. There's so much like beauty in science. So I feel we just have to stop like having one teacher just telling us all the facts but instead we should actively be doing experiments and those experiments would also lead us to also learn the theory as well. But science is all about experimenting and like doing stuff not just sitting down in a classroom and just listening. And I feel exams should be more than just writing on paper and we need to do experiments and maybe like instead of just doing it individually in a classroom, we should be interacting with other students and all do an experiment together. And then also we'll build our social skills and we'll have much more fun. Like we shouldn't do exams alone, like humans are dependent creatures. So we need to stop doing things alone in school. And I feel instead of just taking textbooks and workbooks home, which are just filled with serious big words which just demoralize students learning i feel we should be taking experimental lab equipment which we can have fun in our house and just experiment and make mistakes and that's what science is i believe is all about making mistakes and i feel science is just beauty like there's a universe inside of us there's billions of particles inside of us and there are billions of cells which are keeping us alive which we don't see and there's gravity which makes apples fall from a tree and I feel beauty of science is just everywhere but we just need to talk about it of like science being around of us instead of just learning formulas and learning facts. And there's this good TED talk video which I'll put inside the description below. And this guy actually has his own YouTube channel which he makes chemistry videos and I've actually watched some of his chemistry videos and honestly his videos are just so entertaining and I'll put all of the links in the description below. Alright, that's it for this video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.